All right guys, today is painting day. I'm not gonna talk too long, I wanna get right into it. This is our son's bedroom. We touched up all the holes in the wall, sanded everything down, put on a new ceiling. We're gonna prime it all. So that's what we're working on right now is just getting everything primed. We're gonna be using our Mythic primer and spray gun. Well guys, we're going into day two of the painting job over here in Maverick's bedroom. You can see the primer is on the walls, it's dry, and we installed paper and tape around the center of the room. Not exactly the center, but it's where we wanted it. And what this is gonna be is a break. We're actually gonna be doing a, a two-tone room. I'm gonna be starting with the white, which I'm not gonna film because white on white is never fun. So basically, this is all white. The ceiling's all white, so the whole top part, easy, spray it white, it'll be done quick. I'm also going to be doing the closet white, so we're just going to spray the whole inside of the closet. And then, after the white is dry, we're going to paint the bottom half a different color. I think it's going to work good because our son wants, he, he likes dark colors and bold colors, and the color we picked out, I think he's going to enjoy, but we didn't want to do the whole room dark because it's just going to, it'll be too dark over here. So we thought by bringing the ceiling down and wrapping it around the top of the walls like that, it's going to just give more reflective light and help lighten up and balance out the darker paint on the bottom. And I think it's going to look really cool. That's where we're at right now. I'm going to get suited up. We're going to start spraying. I'll come back later when we're ready for this next step, which is going to be the bottom. I hope this works out good. So I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek of the bedroom to see how it's coming out. You can see the white paint is all finished on the ceiling walls and it looks really good. You do see like over here a little problem spot. What happened was when we were peeling the paper off, the tape did pull some of the primer off. That worries me because it means that our primer isn't getting a good grab but it's not the primer's fault it's actually the old wood finish when it came off the primer took with it the old clear finish that was on the wood so i think some of that old clear finish is releasing maybe it was affected by the moisture in the primer i have no idea but it actually peeled off 
a layer of clear coat. It only happened in a few spots around the room. I sanded it down, shellacked it to seal it in. We're gonna go ahead and try to paint over it. There's not much we can do at this point. And I, I mean, aside from sanding everything down to raw wood, which is not an option right now. We're gonna see how it goes. But since the paint did peel off in a couple spots, I don't wanna take a risk with taping paper here to spray the bottom. Because what if this paint peeled off too? So what I think I'm gonna do is hand brush the bottom. It's gonna be a little bit slower, but it's doable. We're gonna get in there and just brush it. That way we don't have to tape anything off. We don't have to risk pulling paint off the wall. And that's where it is right now. Well guys, we're ready for the update. As you can see from this angle, we have a few more holes in the wall, but these are sanded and shellacked. Now, believe it or not, we've already painted half of the room. And what do you think? It's cool. So far, it's good. We're going to show you the reveal before we get painting this part. Now, we wanted to practice off camera, see how it was going to look before we committed to showing you guys. And it looks okay, but keep in mind, first coat, still wet. And first coats always look not that great. So yes, it's dark on light, it's see-through, it's blotchy. That is totally normal for a dark first coat. So, and, and also because it's still drying, it's gonna look uneven. That's all this, this okay, that's the warning. Uh, so don't judge us too hard, but let's show you how it looks. There it is. So, what do you guys think? I know this is bold. We said our sun wants bold and dark, and I think we're accomplishing it. The blue looks cool. It's gonna get darker than this. This is, like I said, a see-through coat, so don't, you can't judge the color just yet. It's gonna be close to this, but just, just darker. So here's this angle, looking okay. So now we're gonna be working on this wall. You can see that window patch is already starting to blend away, looking okay. And just in case you're wondering, this is actually called Midnight Swim by Mythic Paint. I guess since we just did the big reveal, you guys can follow us along as we paint this side of the room. So now while Maverick's room is drying, we're going to start working on his doors, which means we have to strip down all the hardware, we're going to sand them, we're going to touch up all the holes and problems, and then we're going to stain them, seal them, they'll be good as new. Should use my drill. That screw snapped off in there. That's gonna be fun. This screw snapped off too. That one broke.
Let me just clean this up a little bit so I can see what we're working with before we hole fill. It's good to get some of the dust off it. Yesterday I started just by stripping down all the old hardware, filling all these holes with hole filler, all the little nail and screw holes that were in the door, some small repairs, and then sanding it all down. So the door is sanded. Now we're not taking it all down to bare wood because our new finish is so similar to the old finish that we can leave it. We just wanted to sand it smooth, get the clear coat off it, and fix all the imperfections. That's where we're at right now. I also bored a new hole for the handle set. So it had an old style doorknob on there and it wasn't bored out yet. So we got that drilled out. So now the door is totally ready for stain. So I'm gonna mix up the stain, get, get it all stained up. Hoping that we can have this door done later today, maybe tomorrow, we'll see how it goes. Now I've been working on that door, I finished the stain, I finished shellacking it, it's basically done. So now it's sitting and we're going to come back to the room because I want to show you guys the final paint job, it is done. We'll try to get you a couple different views here. Now this trim still needs to be refinished, so that's not 100% yet. But so far I'm really happy with how the room is turning out. Not only were we able to give our son a darker color, a bold color, something he likes, but we were able to bring light into the room. This is making a huge difference in that, the white ceiling and the white upper walls. Even though the bottom's dark, it doesn't feel dark in here like it did before. So totally happy with that. We are going to be keeping this, the woodwork stained like this. We're gonna stain it Cabernet, a little bit darker and seal it, but it's basically gonna stay that color. We tried our best to keep that paint line really clean. It's not perfect. We actually bought a little piece of trim that I've already finished while I was doing the door, stained it, sealed it, and it's going to be going around the room right there. I can't install that until I get the window and door trim all done, but we're gonna have a little bit of break there to keep that line looking really clean also. So you'll just have to wait to see the final reveal when all of this pulls together. Now that the walls are all done, this is exciting because today I'm pulling up this paper and we're going to be finishing the floor. We're doing a dark tongue oil finish. So let's get right into it. So here we are, the floor has been prepped just by sanding it down. So I got it down as good as I could, down to at least open wood without a sealer on top. What we're gonna be doing is using a dark tongue oil. This is pure dark tongue oil. I'm gonna be mixing it with citrus solvent, which is just a solvent to thin the oil. That way it absorbs deeper into the wood. And today I'm going to be rolling it just because I want to try something different, so... Now 
Now I'm not too worried about the walls because we will have baseboard trim. So if we get oil on the wall, it doesn't matter. So as you guys can see, I finished oiling the floor and it's already absorbed in quite a bit. I put a lot on there. It's been sitting for a little while now, so that's why it's kind of drying up like that. I'm gonna give it a little more time. Hopefully more of that sucks into the wood. And then we'll go through and anything that doesn't absorb, we'll have to just wipe up with a rag and we'll let that dry. I would love to get some more progress done. I'm gonna keep working on finishing the main door, which I already have hole filler on it. I stripped it down, it's looking good. We'll get that worked on today. We'll keep doing what we have to do to finish this floor and the room is coming together. But I think we're gonna end it here because you guys, you saw enough, we got a lot done. Like I said, the rest of it is just gonna be refinishing the doors, getting them installed. It's kind of stuff that's a little bit slow and I don't have good lighting in there anyway. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care. See ya.